at the top of Mammoth Hot Springs, and as you can see behind me, the entire basin is bone dry. It should be brimming with water. This is a hot spring. And that right there behind me, that's the only water there. Oh well, next time. Gonna be a hike. Catch you guys there. So we're about to hike down to the West Thumb Geyser Basin. Check you guys out there in a bit. We're hiking up to Mystic Falls and hopefully catch a few good rays. See you up there.
It's a brisk and beautiful morning, but I'm waiting patiently here for Old Faithful. That's the Old Faithful Inn and Lodge, and there's Old Faithful himself. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick power trip to Yellowstone National Park in the middle of July 2020 and could not have asked for better weather. The temperatures were in the mid to upper 70s and just had bright skies, sunny all day long. So we looked out not just in the weather but also in the crowds. One of the silver lining of traveling during the middle of a pandemic is that the crowds were not there, especially during peak summer travel season in Yellowstone. So many have mentioned that the boardwalk at the Grand Prismatic would have been jam packed with tourists like marching ants hurling through, but we got to enjoy it a little bit longer and with a little bit less crowds. We were also lucky because about one week before we even started the trip, uh, there was a last minute cancellation at one of the cabins at Old Faithful Inn and we secured it. And so we got to stay inside the park for one night. And let me tell you, it was a treat. Besides not having to rush with all the day hikers exiting the park, being able to stay much later and enjoying the sunset with the fewer crowds and having pretty much the park all to yourself, that was a treat. The other treat was waking up at the crack of dawn and seeing but two or three other souls and enjoying the entire park to yourself, that was a gem. Originally, we were just going to be day hikers and hike back to Teton Village where we were staying as part of the Grand Teton trip. Uh, by the way, the link to that film is in the description, so check it out and let me know what you think. So if you get a chance to splurge, do so and stay inside the park. You'll love it. All of the hikes and trails were just short trips from the car, so there's no need to pack a big heavy backpack. A small one with uh, enough water and snacks and you'd be good. Um, big kudos by the way to my younger brother who had planned this whole trip. Because he had already been to Yellowstone multiple times before, he entered in all the different attractions along the route into the GPS, uh, which by the way, get one. Uh, you will have spotty at best cell coverage and cell phone maps just don't give you the accuracy that a GPS does. So it was a real treat sharing Yellowstone uh, and the Tetons with my younger brother. I was able to use a few of his video clips making both film and I just have to congratulate him on his photography skills. I have more of a portrait background, but it's uh, amazing to see him excel and bring art into landscape photography. His website's in the description, so check it out and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for the like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support, and I'll catch you guys out on the next trail.